We often spend far more time trying to decide on a job or preparing for a job interview than actively thinking about our best career path. And especially when you are also trying to decide on a career change, it is vital that you have all that information that you need that you in the future will be in a happy career, one that fits and suits your purpose. Now, the irony of the situation is that the very same questions that we are typically asked in a job interview are also the questions that can help us make us more secure in our career choice. This is what this video is about, where at the end of this video, not only do you have a few tricks up your sleeve on how to best answer the typical interview questions, but more so take those questions, apply them to yourself and be more confident about the decisions that you want to make about your career. All we have to do to get there is understand where we are coming from, where we are right now and where we want to be in the future. And that sounds very simplistic. So how do we form a proper question around it? Let's do it. Remember this dreaded question. Tell me a little bit about yourself. I personally used it to screen candidates many, many times. And I think it's the most valuable element because you've got two type of extremes. The one person tells you about where they went to school, what jobs they attended, what they did in each job. And 25 seconds into that conversation, you are completely <sighs> bored. The most successful candidates, though, they're able to tell you a story. And that story isn't a boring elaboration of sequences. That story talks about their skills and traits that they have that made them successful. And those successful candidates, they also are able to share with you how those skills matter in the job that they're currently applying for. Are you able to tell a concise story about your life? Not about the different stages that you went through in life, but the skills and traits that are the golden thread through your life, the things that made you successful. Imagine when you are able to tell yourself that story, how far more secure you are in your career choices. There is something else though, because by telling yourself that story, you also give yourself an opportunity to discover your self-image. And self-image is very important, especially when making a career change. If you see yourself as this shrewd, hardline business person, then working in a philanthropist organization may not sit right with you, even if everything else feels right. On this channel, I talk a lot more about the things to consider when creating a courageous career. And a courageous career isn't defined by societal norms or wealth and money. It is purely defined by the fact whether the career fits your life, whether it's aligned with your life. And if this is something that you pursue, then welcome to this community. Subscribe as well to stay in touch. Now, we talked about where we are coming from. Now we have to talk about where we are right now. And a typical question you get asked is, what are your strengths and weaknesses? And very naturally, in an interview environment, you want to portray yourself in the best possible light, and that's the right thing to do. Now, what I do want you to do, though, is be perfectly, brutally honest with yourself here, because this is about you. This is about understanding yourself. If you're easily bored, don't choose a job where there is lots of routine. If you enjoy working with people, then considering a career that's purely based on technical skills may sound really cool, but it's not for you. And then we often hear, follow your passion, and that's not true either. Doing something purely out of passion, that's called a hobby. But you have to pair it with your abilities and your strengths to monetize on it. So that's the past and the present. What about the future? And we often get asked, where do you see yourself in five years time? And actually that's a fairly simple question to answer in the context of a job. Because a job has a natural progression, you can see yourself in it and you form a natural story about where you might be in five years time. But in the context of our lives or a career change, this is very different. Sometimes we often live our life from job to job and see it as a continual progression. But the question when it comes to a career change is, how will it change your life? in five years time, not your job, not something that you do. So take a moment or two and ask yourself, how will your career change enrich your life? That might give you a little bit more 
food for thought as much as the video on the screen here right now. Now, if you like what you hear, please drop me a like here for this video. It really helps the channel and helps spreading the message further. I will see you in the next video. Take care.